So hey everyone, welcome to Suwon. Suwon is in South Korea. It's just south of Seoul. We're about 30 minutes on a train, on a fast train south of Seoul and about an hour on a slower train. We took a slower train because it was easier for us to get to. Now we're here actually to do some sightseeing. This is a quite an interesting place. Apparently in the late 1700s, I think around 17, 1794, I think, I read it in the guidebook, I'm pretty sure it's 1794, the king, the current king of Korea wanted to move the capital from Seoul to Suwon and they set up a sort of fortressy area in the centre of the city and built a wall around the central part of the city. That's what we're going to go and have a look at today. Apparently he died before it could be completed, so the capital never moved, it just stayed in Seoul. So that's pretty cool. There's also some nice villages here to see as well. Station's pretty huge and massive. And I am drinking a black sesame juice drink thing that's warm from the Kamini. Nom. See you in a bit. So actually just in the underground wall out from Suwon, Suwon Station. And we are going to head to the palace area, the fortressy area in a second. I just want to tell you quickly how we got here. We actually took the slower train. We took the line number one from Suwon Station, which comes all the way down here. There's a number of different destinations that line number one has when you take it south. So you have to be careful to make sure that you get on the right train. So maybe I'll drop it into the com into the discussion comments notes area the thing down there where um, what destinations of trains that you can get on also we did use our t-money card to get here this card is a bit like uh, London's oyster card or Japan's Suica card that kind of thing it's just a standard commuter card you load it up with money and then tap in and tap out when you get on and off of a train or on and off of a or in and out of a station so we just used this here to get here and it was crazy cheap it seemed to cost us 700 won I still haven't worked out exactly how the trains work yet so uh, that may we may have got a discount because we took a train previous in the day or something like that so don't take that as being the exact amount of money that it, it will cost you to get here Whew. anyway let's concentrate on where we're going <laughs> we'll see you in a sec where are we pow dalman powderman gate that sounds like powder man it's not powder man this is the powderman gate we have a cheat sheet i have a cheat sheet Pick this up from the tourist information office. It's actually really good. It's a map of the whole area. We're actually gonna go in We're gonna go up to that and then we're gonna go round to another one of the gates This wall would have been connected from here all the way back to the other wall that we're gonna go visit in a second uh, You can see the steps going up to the sort of temple. It's a gate. That's just a gate. Yeah Wow, pretty awesome. Okay, so behind us This is the bit that we're gonna climb up now so that we can get onto the roof of the surrounding wall and then we're going to be able to see stuff from sort of round the city and observation points and such. Uh, general. General. Yes. So Liam got our tickets for us. Uh, they're a thousand yen each for adults. You get this little sticker and you stick it to your clothes and I think that shows everybody who's working here that you're allowed to get in and out of the buildings that you're going to visit. Uh, so I'm going to show you the, uh, the way up now. <laughs> it's pretty steep. I'm pretty far. <laughs> Pigeon friends. Pigeon friends. <sighs> we made it. Yes. Yosh. So now I think I'm gonna have a look around here. But look how cool it is. That's so awesome. I can't really see much. We're gonna walk all the way along here and see some places. So cool. Very hot. Right. Well there. We found a giant bell. So you can toll the giant bell for 1,000 won, which is about, that's about, that's nothing, right? It's like a dollar. I really need to get this one stuff. Anyway, it's 1,000 won. You get a ticket, looks like this, and between one to two people can toll this bell three times. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Oh my God, it's heavy. No, don't go too far. Ready? Oh, oh. Oh, that was 
so cool. Is it still vibrating? Oh my God, you can. It feels like a washing machine when it's on. Or like a really, really big hard drive. Um, I will tell you quickly what all the all the bell dongs mean because it, you get three. You get to do three times. The first hole is to show gratitude and respect for one's parents. The second hole is to wish for one's family health and harmony. And the third one is to wish for the realization of your dreams. Cool, huh? Thank you. <laughs> we made it to a command post here. I'm um, built in the 18th year of King. I think it's Jonjo, John, Jonjo, Jonjo's reign. Apparently there's a frame in here with the handwritten inscription by the king himself inside of it somewhere. But in any case, it looks pretty cool. I was about to take my shoes off so I could go up those stairs and then I realized actually, those stairs go absolutely nowhere. <laughs> well, they do, but it's all locked off. Guys, we're just looking at this wall from one of the observation points and you can see it snake around the city. That's crazy, it's two kilometers all the way around it. It looks so much bigger than that, actually. Okay, not two kilometers. <laughs> it takes two hours to get all the way around. So it must be more like eight, 10, 12, kilo 12 kilometers? Yeah, Do you six kilometers an hour, 12, 10 kilometers? Anyway, it's, it's big, right, it's big. with a katana over there. What is he gonna do with it? No. Oh. <laughs> Yay! That's cool. It's like a garden and stuff. Just another half an hour. <laughs> another one of the gates this one has water it sits on top of a river which flows all the way over there back towards the station uh, I wanted to leave on this one because it was it just looks beautiful with all of those like little viaducts underneath and the little gate on top of it I think now we're gonna go and look around the town like inside the fortress so we haven't actually done that yet so that'll be pretty cool oh but it does look like you can walk through some amazing parts of the river too ah decisions look I don't know if you guys can see but like there's a little path over there that crosses around the river Oh, that is so cool. So actually we're gonna keep on going because we just realized there's a few secret gates over here which lead to more secret passages. And it looks like there may be a bit where you can shoot some arrows or watch somebody shooting some arrows. I don't even know. There's some arrow shooting going on something. We're gonna find out what's going on. So all right, let's go. So we just stopped off in a cafe. I'm gonna show you where it is on the map in a second because I think we're done walking around now the outer rim of the fortress. The cafe is really cute actually. It has loads of coffees and smoothies and teas and such and it does have a hidden English menu that they will give you to you when you you know go in and start speaking English. Um, but look at our backdrop here. Look what we can see. The colors recalibrate. So this is actually an archery field. Apparently it's where the king's um, soldiers used to practice. I wanted to show you where we went on our map. Well, so we started out over here at the Powderman Gate and then we walked up those giant staircases up to this lookout area. And we walked all the way around these gates, stop, stopping off to strike, oh, sorry, all the way around these gates, stopping off to strike the bell here, walking up and over here, right, to this gate, which is one of the massive gates that we stopped off. And then round this way to the water gate, then down here. Now, we stopped off at the archery section which is down here and the cafe is down here as well but after we're done we're gonna walk through back through here probably cross the river somewhere and end up to, to try and have a look at the palace and once we're done with that we will then make our way back to the station <laughs> Oh. 
So this is brilliant. After they've shot their 10 arrows, you get 10 arrows to shoot in this game. After they've shot their 10 arrows, they have to go and collect them. <laughs> so those of them that have shot them really, really far have gone like way out to go and collect them. It's actually some more professional archers out after the kids get to have a shot. So they're shooting, it seems. at the far targets, way over there, those things that look like stop signs. Uh, they're shooting over there. How can we tell? <laughs> so the archery place was just over there and underneath this huge bridge, where's well, bridge? It says welcome just above it, by the way. Yeah. You've got this large open area where loads of people are flying kites. It's so cool. And we're gonna walk that way back to the village. Our final stop before we leave C1 is to visit the palace, which is in the middle of the fortressy area. So all the fortress Walls are all around this area. The palace is just here. What state is the palace in, Liam? What say? Like, is it like a full palace or a ruin no, or I a... I don't think it was ever properly finished. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, the palace wasn't properly finished. So this is just, we think, an incomplete palace or a structure of... I, we should just go and see it. But this forecourt is pretty amazing, just outside of it. Loads and loads of space. And we just popped to the bakery to get some noms as well. So as you guys can see, the palace is just right over there. And on top of the mountain, you should be able to see this pagoda-like thing, which is where we were later, actually. Uh, uh, later. Where we were later. Where we were earlier, actually. We walked just by there. And over on the left-hand side, you should be able to see a giant statue of a Buddha. We think that is twinned with a temple that's just over there, but it's huge. And it's pretty cool. Look at that, beautiful house. Huh? Um, the palace actually closes at 4.30, so we're kind of lucky because it's 4 o'clock right now. It costs 1,500 won to get in, uh, which isn't a lot of money. I think it's about one, one and a half pounds, something like that. Uh, or something around there. It's a very, very small amount. Uh, this is actually a temporary palace. We've done some homework now. <laughs> this is a temporary palace. So it looks like when the king was trying to move the capital from Seoul to Suwon, he built all the exterior walls, so like the fortressy kind of walls that we were walking around earlier, and then he was going to build or make people build a palace of some sort. This was the temporary palace that they were in before they were going to move to the actual palace, and then he died, so then the capital stayed in Seoul. Oh, so this is pretty cool. I'll show you around a bit. Well, Liam's got a lovely map of the whole palace. Very nice. Korean sundial seems like their sundials are bowl shaped all these vertical lines here represent the time horizontal lines are supposed to represent the season it's pretty amazing that is the coolest stamp thing ever oh it doesn't fit sort of didn't really work but oh well seems like a drama was filmed here Korean drama and apparently this is the kitchen of one of the people within the drama. So at the back of the palace now, we're actually on this long stretch. I'm going to try and vlog and walk backwards. It's totally going to work. And look at this cool procession which is on the wall. The whole wall goes all the way up there. It's like some weird mural with this procession on it. It's really amazing. The architecture of this place is pretty cool. I love all these straight lines, right angles, cool. Uh, Korean roofs, really amazing. Love it. That's a really cool place. King gets all the protection. So just in a small temple off to the right hand side of the palace. So you can see it up here. There we go. Uh, it seems to be the place of rest of the king, although I don't think he is really residing here. Um, but uh, this was made to honor his, uh, his resting place, thanks. 
people are very courteous to me here of filming they tend to get out of the way and such it's so lovely so everybody's been so nice in korea um, but it's quite cool so we'll show you around this complex and then i think we're done here We made a little wish on a piece of paper. You get the piece of paper from over there. Liam is going to tie our wish to this, uh, what do we call it? It's rope, I guess. Yeah, you can see Liam San try to find out where we need to Sorry. go next. No, <laughs> okay. So we're actually going to end the vlog here, uh, outside of the Temporary Palace. We finished looking around, it was awesome. It's going to close up soon because it's coming up to 4.30. We're actually done here in Suwon. Uh, the one other thing I wanted to tell you about Suwon is that there's actually a Hanuk village very near here. Hanuk villages are traditional Korean architecture villages and they're really cool. They have a, a, a traditional they have a traditional Hanuk village near here, near Suwon. It's about 30 minutes away from bu by bus and it's a bit of a museum. So I think you can go around and see some sort of like diorama -y setups of people inside the houses or something but we're gonna visit a few other Hanuk villages whilst we're here so we're not gonna go to that one so we are gonna say goodbye now from Suwon it was awesome this the whole architecture of the fortress the walls the gates the temporary palace everything was fascinating the tickets do cost to get around but they were super super cheap like 1001 is hardly anything it was really good and it was a real good snapshot of life of what it was like in the sort of late 1700s here in korea i hope you guys all enjoyed our trip around suwon uh, we have a few more stuff bits and pieces coming up in korea and we're visiting japan this trip as well so there'll be loads of more stuff to come so thanks everyone for watching we'll see you another time okay bye Bye!